Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Marcy. Thank you for clicking on that thumbnail. Always showing up, showing your girl some love. I have what you want. I have what you need. I have the new Navitus Parfums in collaboration with AI the Great, Amorous Intense, you all. Super excited to have this in my collection. I did do like a review of First Impressions over on Instagram about four or five days ago. Um, I've been working since then, so I'm gonna try to drop this review, make this thumbnail today, and release it, y'all. So hopefully you'll be saying happy Saturday morning, okay? <laughs> Anyway, um, thank you all for clicking on that thumbnail. I thank you all to my new subscribers. Thank you for the love, you know, and all the advice and all the recommendations that you all are given. So this is the second fragrance with AI the Great. Um, when is the butter coming out, AI, okay? Uh, we need the butter for Ambrosia Imperial. So this is the second release for AI the Great in collaboration with Navitus Parfums. Ambrosia Imperial was a hit. I love an amazing banana note. And we're gonna talk about that one just a little bit and I'll let you guys know at the end which one I like the most. Do I like them both together? Um, do I not like one of them? So you guys already know, I will link my review down below on Ambrosia Imperial. I have always loved a banana note in fragrances and I was just head over heels when I heard that she was coming out with it. So y'all, it's divine, okay? Um, anyway, now we are gonna be talking about Amorous Intense. And like I said, AI the Great and Navitus Parfums. This is an x -trait. It comes in, I never talk about this, but I'm gonna talk about this uh, because some people don't Google. Like I Google everything, you know? I, I don't ask people for anything. I figure it out, but y'all, since most people want to know, it's an extrait, extrait de parfum, okay? Um, this is 125 mLs and it retails, if you got it on sale, it retailed for about post taxes, about $220, $230. Now, Amorous Intense, I mean, now, uh, Ambrosia Imperial was $170, so, you know, the price of inflation, all that good stuff. Anyway, and I think they're both extraits, though. Yeah, they're both extraits, but you know, maybe this one was given, you know, given a little more, um, you know, um, they were, they were charging more for the Gourmands. Okay. <laughs> so anyway, um, Amorous Intense, same exact packaging, you know, all that good stuff. Same nice luxury box with the cardboard outside. Um, it comes in like a faux leather. I don't think this is real leather. Like a faux leather package. Very nice casing. And no, I do not throw almost like all of my, unless I sell them on Macari, I do not throw any of my packaging away, especially when they look like this, you all. This is like a whole coffin or coffre, whatever you want to call it. And it's super heavy. You can actually use this for other things as well. And I think you may be able to take that insert out so you can definitely use it for other things like a jewelry box, anything. So back to the fragrance. So let's get into the notes, okay? So before I show you the gorgeous bottle, let's get into the notes. So... In this perfume, you have your baked pear, okay? Then you have your pear pulp. Then you have your almonds, and then you have some applesauce. Then you have, and that's in the top notes. In the heart notes, you have your rum absolute, elong elong, and French coffee. And in the base, you have some cinnamon caramel, whipped cream, and sugar cane. The master perfumers is one of the same master perfumers that did Ambrosia Imperial, which is the amazing Beltran du Chiffre. I have a ton of his fragrances, and I didn't even know, okay, until I started to look him up. And you can Google him and look all of his perfumes up, or look on Fragrance and it'll let you know like all of the fragrances that he um, has made. So Beltran du Chiffre is the master perfumer and also uh, the, I, I still can't pronounce this. I think it's Berengere Bougarel. Berengere Bougarel, okay? Um, so those are the two perfumers that worked on Amorous Intense. So, which is AI. I love the fact that she did that. Uh, Ambrosia Imperial AI and then Amorous Intense AI, okay? So anyway, this is the gorgeous bottle. 
it's green and I do love the fact that it's green. Like I said, 125 mLs. Um, it's not a magnetic top, but it fits very secure. Um, it's a very heavy bottle. So let's get into, you probably already know if you saw me over on Instagram, I did a live in first impressions on Instagram. Now I've worn this fragrance every single day. Um, not really as my scent of the day all day long. Two days it was my scent of the day and then one scent of the night, scent of the night and then another scent of the morning. I kind of switch it out, you know, I don't wear, sometimes if I'm too tired coming home from work um i may um you know switch my scent of the night or i just made it go i may i may go to bed smelling like soap okay um anyway amorous intense so let's go ahead and spray this baby all right automizer is amazing super cohesive and beautiful y'all 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 okay deliciousness okay oh, i guess just a moment anyway y'all that just interrupted my first impressions for my youtubers so we gonna spray that again okay so y'all can get the same reaction all right let's go ahead and spray this baby again look at that automizer it's like navitus has some amazing automizers so my salivary glands are already going you all so initially you definitely get a rich like warm you know it's it's a pear it's almost like i don't know what pear pulp is but it's almost like you took some pears you took the juiciest pears um, that are you just picked from a tree super ripened i get the pear skin I get a pear. I get almost like a pear puree, um, which they said there's applesauce, but I kind of get an apple as well. But it's almost like a stewed, warm pear puree with cinnamon. It's warm. It's juicy. It's sweet. I, did I say caramel? Because I get caramel in here. Oh, yes, there's caramel. Um, you do get a slight hint of a whipped cream in here. But I get that, car you do get whipped cream, not a slight hint, you get whipped cream, okay? You get that whipped cream, caramel. It's almost like a pear pie, like a buttery, whipped creamy, or a pear pie, a warm pear pie. Um, it's almost two different things, you guys. So what I'm getting from this fragrance, because I'm greedy and I love a good dessert or I love a good sweet, I get a warmed pear pie with some whipped cream and maybe some vanilla ice cream. Or if you guys know, if you eat Halloween candy, which is, it's around that time, um, they have these apple suckers. And the apple suckers have a buttery caramel over the top. But when you get down to the green of the apple sucker, you get that sweet caramel on the outside. But then when you get down to the hard uh, greenness of the apple sucker, it's a bit tart. It's kind of sour. It's juicy. Um, it really makes your mouth water and it's amazing because it's a little warm. I'm getting super excited talking about this fragrance. So anyway, you get some warmth from that cinnamon in here, you all. This is absolutely stunning and I am loving this fragrance, you all. It's now you do, I get booziness. Initially when I sprayed this, the first impressions, I got a lot of booziness, you know, maybe a lot of rum in here. Uh, but now I don't get so much of the booze in the opening. I get more of the green apple, pear apple, almost like a Fuji apple. It's like sweet but tart, perfectly balanced. Like this fragrance, I mean, when we talk about like acid-based balance in the hospital, and just your blood levels being at a certain you know level in order for optimal performance this fragrance is it you guys so anyway this this fragrance with the tartness the sweetness you know the acid the base it's balanced perfectly um it's enough of everything and i'm absolutely loving it now 
it's it's gorgeous you get a juiciness in the opening a sweetness in the opening um it dries down a little bit a little bit but that juiciness and that apple and everything is maintained and the pear is maintained the warm spiciness of the fragrance is maintained the sweetness the caramel the candied like kind of like a candy caramel apple um, this is this is gorgeous, you all. Now, someone did ask me on Instagram um, if this was similar to other fragrances. I would initially I said yes. If you like these fragrances, then you may love this one. So, if you like fragrances like La Danza, what is it, 1942 La Danza de la Blue or whatever, I do have that fragrance in my collection. Or if you like fragrances like Casablanca, uh, minus the suede, the woodiness, and the masculinity, then you are absolutely going to fall in love with this. Uh, this is definitely more gourmand leaning than those two fragrances. I would say La Danza minus the coconut because this does not have coconut in it. Um, it may smell beautiful if you layered it with coconut, but you don't need it, okay? Um, anyway, this is gorgeous. It's juicy. It's most amazing. And I'm loving it. Now, I've worn this to work twice. When it comes to performance, it's lasting 12 hours on skin. Now, I did spray it about 12 times. The projection was amazing. Uh, what did my coworkers say? No, that was something else. Um, so anyway, when she walked in, one of my coworkers, um, she said when she walked in, she was like, damn, you smell good. <laughs> she was literally at least, I would say four to five feet away from me before she said, you smell good. That was eight hours into my shift and she still smelled it. It was projecting off my skin, projecting off my clothes. The performance was 12 hours on my skin and clothes. Now, the next day in my hamper, my clothes, 24 hours later, still smell like this fragrance. So on clothes, it is more than 12 hours. On my skin, it was about 12 hours. On clothes, it's about 24 hours. Um, you guys, this fragrance is amazing and it's completely worth the price. So that being said, I think I covered everything, but I am loving it. I almost bought a backup bottle the same day that I smelled it, but I was like, Marcy, slow your row, okay? Um, I already got a backup bottle of Ambrosia Imperial, okay? <laughs> so um, now it's gorgeous. It's like, it's perfect. You know, Beltran Duchefort knows how to do a gourmand. Um, of course, with the creative direction of AI the Great, she knows how to love a gourmand too as well. So, or compose a gourmand. So um, anyway, now there's almond listed in here. I don't get a lot of almond. There is a slight creaminess to this fragrance. Maybe that's what it is, but I don't get almond in this fragrance as well. Maybe once it macerates or, you know, sits for a little while. I can imagine this macerating because Ambrosia Imperial macerated and it is strong, y'all. This one is... As Ambrosia Imperial is stronger and more beast mode now. This one smells like Ambrosia Imperial right now off top. So this one is stronger to me um, upon first impressions and more beast than Ambrosia Imperial. I don't know if it's the tartness and the sweetness of this fragrance. Um, to me, it also smell like, smells like there's saffron in here as well because it's airy, fresh, bright, you know, very juicy and just gourmand. But I'm getting the note of saffron in here as well, even though it doesn't list it. It doesn't give it an airiness. It just gives it that warm spiciness. Maybe it's the cinnamon. I don't know. But it smells absolutely amazing. But I'm getting a, I don't know if there's, did I say ambergris? No, there's not ambergris. There's something in this fragrance. Maybe it's the Ylang Ylang that's making it very bright, fresh. You don't get a prominent yellow floral in this fragrance though at all. So if you don't like Ylang Ylang, do not be scared of this fragrance, you all. So anyway, I don't get the coffee. Um, she said there's a coffee note in this fragrance, but it's not prominent. So no, I y'all know I just released a coffee review. I love a good coffee. Like I just love coffee, period. Every day, a couple times a day, I love it. I don't get a coffee note. Maybe it just makes it a little more rich, um, gives it a little more depth. It makes it a little dark, makes the pear a little more like stewed. Um, but no, you don't get the coffee. You don't get the alongi long. You literally get a a 
apple sour tart apple sucker covered in buttery caramel and you get a baked pear pie with whipped cream like combine all of those together and that is what you get from this fragrance you guys it's amazing perfect for fall you can literally wear this 365 days a year but because of the season um i think this this will be perfect for fall and winter uh fall winter and spring because it is so juicy bright and just like beast mode performance i think that you may probably want to wear this on a cooler day uh, but i'm wearing it every day okay so whenever i want to wear it so anyway, it is good. But those are the two fragrances that you may want to reference when it comes to, um, you know, like I said, take out a couple things. Take out the coconut on La Danza, then take out the suede and the woodiness on Casablanca. But you're still getting that amazing, like sweet tart, um, bakery style apple or pear type scent, you know? Um, anyway, it's gorgeous. Get your nose on this fragrance. This is Ambrosia Imperial by AI. The, I mean, this is Amorous Intense by AI the Great, y'all. So anyway, um, let's talk about Ambrosia Imperial. Now, oh, that's what the girl said. So when she walked in, so Navitus has a DNA. Beltran du Chiffre, when he makes his perfumes, he has a DNA, okay? Because when she walked in, she said, Marcy, you smell so good. She, I think she said, you so smell so damn good. I think that's what she said. She said, you got on that banana fragrance, huh? I said, no, but I got on one of her other fragrances. And that's what she said. You got on that banana fragrance, huh? I was like, no, Keisha, um, if you're watching this video. Um, so anyway... Um, there's some similarities between the two scents, um, slight similarities. And it was very weird that she said I got on that banana fragrance, uh, but I actually had on Amorous Intense. Um, I did give her a sample of Ambrosia Imperial and I brought this to work multiple times so people can smell it and she absolutely loves it. And she's like, tell me when it goes on sale. You know, I wanna buy it. So I'm like, all right, Keisha, I'll keep an eye out. Okay, because I'm not giving no more decants out of these babies. All right. So, um, yeah, so that's what she said. Anyway, which one do I love more? I absolutely love them both. Um, if I ran out of this, I would definitely repurchase it. If it goes on a sale again, I'm going to give me another backup bottle. Yes, I am. Because literally, this is my favorite uh, pear fragrance in my almost a pear apple uh, fragrance. It almost gives me apple too. Pear apple fragrance in my collection. I love it. Y'all know that I'm a gourmand head and um, I love it. Now, which one do I love more? This was hard, y'all. This was so hard for me. Don't ask me which one to buy. I'm going to tell you by both. Which one do I love more? Because it's a little more unique, you know, and it's just, ooh, I love that saffron in there, y'all. Um, and I love the Divana, too. I am going to have to go with Ambrosia Imperial, y'all. If I had to choose one, if I had to, if I had no choice, I'm gonna go with Ambrosia Imperial because I love a good banana note, okay? I love banana everything, okay? Um, so yes, I think, I think, I don't know. Ugh, this is so good, this is so good. It's like heaven, okay? Gourmand heaven. Ah, this is so good as well. I don't know, I get pear skin. When I just sniff that, I got some like sour, sweet pear skin. Um, anyway, y'all, I am loving them both. They are gorgeous. Congratulations, AI. Girl, you made two amazing releases. These have been two of my favorite re releases. Um, and I'm gonna have to do a review uh, for 2023. This is like in the top five of my favorite releases of 2023. Um, yeah, they are absolutely gorgeous and you guys got to get your nose on these. All right. And I hope you got it and caught the sale. Okay. Um, if not, just wait for another sale to come. Anyway, y'all go on to the world, spread amazing, see how you good, be good, all that good stuff. And y'all, I am so happy to have, 
uh, Aisha's, I don't want to keep calling her AI, Aisha's fragrances in my collection. Uh, they are a huge part of my collections, and those could easily be in a top 10, but I got so many fragrances. Uh, they actually would be in a top 20 for life, like literally a top 20 for life. Um, they're good. They're my favorite Navitas perfume scents. You know, um, these, these, and then Kari's fragrance. Um, the honey, you know, the honey fragrance. I can't even think of it. Mael Extas, you guys. Love that one as well. My three favorite Navitas perfume fragrances. Y'all, y'all doing your thing. Anyway, all right. Bye. Go on to the world. Spread amazing. See how you could be good. And I love you guys. Click that thumbs up, like, all that good stuff. And uh, let me know if you're interested. All right. Bye-bye.